power to the youth. We intend to encourage our clubs in the Premier League, in the Division One League, and in the Women's Premier League to pay attention to young players. It is therefore critical for all of us who invest in football to understand the need to invest more in the youth when it comes to football. We will therefore be looking at instituting policies that support clubs to develop talent in a very, very competitive way. Beginning in the season 2025, 2026, 2025 and 2026, 2025 and 2026, we'll be looking at introducing a policy where each Premier League club will have a minimum of four players who will be under 19 in your match day squads. For the Division One League, we'll be looking at the policy of each match day squad having a minimum of six U19 players in your match day squad, with three starting. <laughs> at the Division Two level, we are looking at each Division Two match day squad having a minimum of eight U19 players in your match day squad, with at least four starting from. Of course, four starting each game. Women's Premier League. I think this is a topic we've already discussed among ourselves. From 2025-2026 football season, we're going to cap, we're going to introduce eight category, eight capping at the women's level. So for women's premier league, all players must be age 20 and above. For the women, division one must be 18 or 19 years to play in the women's division one what that means is that automatically we will succeed in creating juvenile leagues for our girls u15 u16 u17 these policies will start season commencing 2025 2026 football season i stand here as the chairman of the national juvenile committee and I'm here preaching power to the youth. I'm interested in coast football, boys and girls. So I appeal to my ESCO to support me in investing a lot more money in coast football. <laughs> so we will start slowly, gradually, but progressively we would increase our investments in coast football. So for the upcoming season, each regional coach champion will receive a prize money of 10,000 Ghana cities, one set of jersey, and 10 footballs. <laughs> For the U17 level, at the U15 level, we'll repeat the same prize money. 10,000 Ghana cities, one set of jersey, and 10 footballs. And we will repeat same for U13 championship. A champion in each region will receive 10,000 Ghana cities, a set of jerseys, and 10 footballs. We will repeat the same in all the regions who are currently running U15 Girls Championship.